I've heard the technology in the station would make the FC surrender before we even started another war. Mole. There has been rumors of soldiers smuggling personal items into the station. If I say, you. at least it is a dry heat? People who work undercover, they're sneaky by nature. Hard to read. When I fly, I want someone beside me who I can predict. Boxes by the Marquess of Queensbury rules. But you, you're a southpaw. A wild card. No, I don't. But I do know the previous occupants of that interrogation chair you were sitting in. Not good people, to say the least. I think one of them even strangled a man. With his teeth. <sighs> but if Commander Ikande says you're Sistef, then you are one of us. For now. Long story. I got my start in the Academy and made a name for myself hunting the Crimson Fleet. I eventually got recruited to do test flights on a star station orbiting Lloyden's Rock. Me and three other Archangel pilots did some work on some extremely dangerous prototypes. But I called in a few favors and got back home with Sistef. Someone with my talents needs to be here, where the action is. Yeah, it was. And you can probably guess what project it was for. Yeah, I thought you might. I heard the fleet sent you up there for some more pirate work. Even more impressive, you managed to do it without taking any lives. Maybe I misjudged you. That's more than I can say for myself, given the history of Project Archangel. We were testing prototype fighter ships, experimental engines, weaponry, the works. The four of us were the best of the best. Emphasis on the were. I was one of four pilots recruited for the program. My code name was Azrael. At the time, I embraced the name. The Angel of Death hunting Crimson Fleet pirates in a prototype ship. But even for an angel, pride always comes before the fall. The official word as I was transferred back to Sistef because the need was great. The reality is I was kicked off the unit. I was so bored on that station, I spent all my time in the barracks drinking cases of smuggled booze. When the time came for my test flight, I was so wasted, one of the others had to cover for me. The engine caught fire right after takeoff. Pilot, crew, gone in a flash. Yeah, and that pilot should have been me. I was the one who was supposed to be on that prototype. People tell me all the time it's not my fault. But fault's got nothing to do with it. I should be a dead man. Instead, some other pilot took my place. It's tough not seeing any action, but securing a station like this is a pretty important tool.
heard the technology in the station would make the FC so rare. Everything looks clear. There's been rumors of soldiers smuggling Do you have anything to report? It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. As you probably guessed, not very well. Keeping Mast out of the loop regarding this particular mission has proven exceptionally difficult. But we've managed to keep your involvement in the dark. Sparing the lives of the soldiers on SY-920 has definitely made our position with the top brass much easier. But you did so with an abundance of stealth and restraint. That's exactly what we're looking for in a SysDev operative. Then you were most fortunate you coerced us into helping you, not some half-mad spacer. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short, and we should get to the matter at hand. Please give me your report. With the acquisition of the Comspike, the fleet is one step closer to Grix's legacy. And the more people we arrest, the greater the chance that your infiltration is discovered. We're working against the clock here, so let's start by discussing the status of the Comspike. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant. Your ship will need special protection to ensure the electromagnetic disturbances in the planet's atmosphere don't fry your circuits. The conduction grid? That's... brilliant. But is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4's EM field. An engineer, like Jasmine Durand. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. Of course I am, but it's a calculated risk. You've already come this far, which makes you the most resourceful operative in SysDev's history. If we move in and attack the fleet now, we might not have the resources to bring them down. In addition, they're holding all the tech you need to get to Krix's legacy, so... The smartest move is to let you get to it and then bring it to us. I'm confident that once Krix's legacy is in our possession, we'll get the support we need from my superiors to take the fleet down. All right, I suppose that's all for now. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful.
I'll be here if you have any more questions. Everything looks clear. I've heard the technology in this station. There has been rumors of soldiers smuggling personal items. It's tough not seeing any action, but securing a station like this is a pretty important duty. livable is astounding. There's no end what can be accomplished when there are credits to the name. Security cares far more about what you take with you when you leave the night than what you bring in the bed.
Stay safe, buddy. to get zoned. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Come on, give me a break. You're not exactly a top dog over there at the key, now are you? Sending me a rook to handle a job this risky is a goddamn insult. And I'm getting tired of the fleet not taking me seriously. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. He has certainly earned quite a reputation. Neon is proof of it. Benjamin Bayou, Neon's esteemed mayor or administrator whatever the hell you want to call them. He's also the greediest bastard you'll ever meet. Got his fingers in everyone's business and the muscle to back it up. The only reason I'm allowed to operate on Neon is because I pay well to keep my involvement off his radar. The last thing I need right now is an amateur like you getting me kicked off world. Yep, just like a couple of Model A's. Program us, point us in the right direction, and watch us go. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jenardyne's facility in the underbelly. I'm talking about Jenardyne's main power plant for Neon. All their cushy offices might be up in the trade tower, but the nuts and bolts of their operation are running beneath the city. <laughs> beneath your feet, genius. It's the lowest level of neon. Jennerdine and Xenofresh are down there, along with some of the finest cuisine in the city. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdine, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Well, well, look at you. You're smarter than I thought. Jennerdine has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. It might be wireless, but you aren't going to be able to use it from here, genius. Jennerdine's got their place locked down tight, but 
as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper-level exec at Jennerdyne. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. The catch is that Komiko's having a little fling with Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorica. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Just grab that tech and plant the virus. Should be a cinch. Buddy, I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. A gang. Worst gang there is. They'll stab you for kicks, taking bets on how long you squeal before you bleed out. And that's not a hypo whatchamacallit. They seriously did that. <laughs> Poor Ted. Hey, it's your ass, not mine on the line. Whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but now that they're on the ropes, kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad, real bad. Sure, sure. So, for being so helpful, chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all? I have a heart. Hey, thanks. Look, I mean it. Go back to the plaza. Ain't nothing but shit and misery over here. yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. By the third chimera, you're floating on frickin' cloud nine. I don't know about you, but that's where I'd rather be. Yeah, I guess you're right. Where the hell did Micah learn to pick no, a drink like no, that anyway? No, not this again. Well, let's face it, you people you should leave her alone. What do you want with her? Bullshit. It is my business. You debt collectors are low-life assholes. 
She's broke, okay? Now get out of my club before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. I suspect I would enjoy the attempt much more than you would. The... the Crimson Fleet? Oh my, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Sorry, I just... Well, I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the member's lounge. Of course, access to the lounge is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. Excellent. Then here is your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. Don't forget to ask Q to see our special menu. Take it easy. Nothing beats getting zoned in the members' lounge. <clears throat> yeah. What do you want? must be zoned out of your mind, because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. The Crimson Fleet, huh? This is interesting. So tell me, what does Delgado need with my Pastor Genodyne? So, let me get this straight. You want me to sneak you into Genodyne so you can steal the only profitable piece of technology the company's come up with in decades. If you expect me to take a risk like that, then it's going to cost you some major credits. Yes, you do. Short of taking it off my dead body, which would never happen thanks to my Sioga buddies here, you don't pay, you don't get the pass. You've got yourself a deal. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room entry to the facility. I'm warning you though, once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck, you're going to need it. Pardon. Hello there. On behalf of Euphorica, I welcome you to our members' lounge. I'll be happy to provide whatever you need from our private bar to enhance your experience. Can I get you anything? Some Aurora, perhaps? <laughs> yes, well, due to the extreme exclusivity of the members' lounge, we like to keep the fact that we offer Aurora <clears throat> confidential. You can rest assured that purchasing Aurora from this establishment is not only safe, it's completely legal. Peace, solace, and serenity be with you. You good?
<laughs> I would hope for the sake of these workers that after a while you get used to the smell. Mm -hmm. For a variety of reasons.
please. Don't you. If you want the encryption cipher, you're, you're welcome to it. There's no need for all this violence. Look, there's no need to be angry with me. I I'm on your side. I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I will attempt to break it contact with the enemy. <laughs> You're kidding, right? My brother is Benjamin Bayou. One and only. He's the administrator of Neon. And the reason I'm so damn miserable. Look, I'm giving you what you want. The least you can do is hear me out. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. You should consider distancing yourself from your brother. Perhaps somewhere off-world. One advantage to being perceived as stupid is that no one takes you seriously. When I walk into a party, I'm instantly the resident social pariah. But my eyes and ears are wide open. I can't tell you the number of times I've overheard that my brother has spread amusing anecdotes about his stupid brother. Yeah, that would be nice. If you are uncertain about your ability to best him in single combat, it is a reasonable alternative to consider. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Feels good to be in control for a change.
Ah, there you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne's systems. Oh, I will. With or without your help. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. And I'm a businessman, which means I know when to walk away from a deal. You want to know why? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. That's what they tell me. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. That is an offer? Your negotiating skills are impressive indeed. My dear friend, you couldn't possibly offer me enough money to offset the embarrassment that this has caused. I'm afraid you'll just have to reveal your source. You don't have to worry about that in the least. You point me to our little mole and I'll do the rest. You don't even have to get your hands dirty. Really? That's the story you're going with. Very well. There's a body that Neon Security is going to be discovering very soon. One with concrete evidence that links you to the murder. I'd say you have about one hour to leave this place before you have a price on your head. I almost admire your commitment to corruption. Almost. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement? and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regards. Anastas has run into some trouble. Word to the wise, you don't want this. Outside's a bad place for tourists.
Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you thing at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. So <laughs> I've heard. Throwing yourself under the bus like that. Ouch. You are one crazy son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead in the water at this point. Since Bay, you flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash and I have no way to pay it all back. <laughs> That's exactly what I had in mind. I guess you aren't such a rook after all. How much uh, are you willing to part with? Wow, that's way more than I expected. I had no idea you'd be so generous. Yes, apparently we have lost our minds to your benefit. All right, I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send him to talk to me. Put in a good word to Delgado for me, will ya? All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible.
Oh, that's hilarious. You're a real comedian, you know that? Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart, and you want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right, I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Oh, that's real funny. All right, listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. I have a very reliable source of mast. They were so concerned that the threat was real, they actually jumped the information out to us right away. Just slow down and listen before you jump the gun and ruin everything. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. Oh, is that all? And here I thought this was going to be a challenge. Once your ship is ready, jump out to Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. Exactly. I already have one ready for you. After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption, so bring it back here right away. Yeah? I sure hope so. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. Get moving I before have it's too late. things I wish to discuss with you. When you have time. 